My two Jewish parents took me to Hebrew school when I was six years old. This was in addition to attending Sabbath services every Friday evening and Saturday morning, which also included Sabbath school. You see, Jews educate their children from the cradle. Although I was steeped in Yiddishkeit, that is, the Jewish experience, throughout my growing up years, my fondest memory was singing Christmas carols with my Gentile friends. Every December, we would go door to door throughout the neighborhood, singing Christmas carols such as, O Come All Ye Faithful and Silent Night. One Christmas Eve, after finishing a rousing rendition of Joy to the World, the man of the house came out from the living room to the front porch, pointed right at me, and said, What's a Jew boy like you singing Christmas carols? Well, with tears gushing out of my eyes, I ran home and I asked my father, Dad, why don't Jews believe in Jesus Christ? My dad answered, Son, you can sing Christmas carols as much as you want, but one thing you've got to remember. You were born a Jew, and you will die a Jew. Jesus Christ is for the Gentiles. He is not for us. I thought to myself, i got to ask my rabbi about this. While visiting my grandmother in the hospital, there was the rabbi. He was right on the hospital foyer. I went up to him, and I asked him the same question I asked my father. Why don't Jews believe in Jesus Christ? Well, the rabbi spit right on the hospital floor. I was appalled. Then he stared at me with daggers coming out of his eyes and said to me, Don't you dare ever name that wicked name again. Boy, I was really appalled. Soon after, my mother took me to my cousin's bar mitzvah. It was in an old synagogue. When we walked in, I could just smell this musty smell. And I looked around, there were Jewish stars everywhere, and I started getting sick. I wanted to vomit. I wanted to run out. My mother grabbed me, and after three hours of sitting through that service, I kept on saying to myself, Judaism is a religion of death. Judaism is a religion of death. But the watershed came during my bar mitzvah class. There we studied comparative religions, and Mrs. Schechter was the teacher. Mrs. Schechter was built like a bulldog. We studied every religion under the sun. Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Jainism, Baha'i, but we didn't study Christianity. It wasn't until the end of the bar mitzvah school year that Mrs. Schechter gets up from the desk, stands like a bulldog in front of all of us, and says, Children, we're not going to study Christianity. You see, Christianity was started by a man named Saul, who was a self-hating Jew, who hated his Jewishness so much that he changed his Jewish name to the Gentile name of Paul. Thus, we're not going to study Christianity. Oh, I thought to myself, how in the world can we eliminate Christianity? Christianity informed Western civilization for the last 2,000 years, and we're not going to study it? I said to myself, one day, when I leave my family, when I leave my synagogue, I'm going to study it for myself. And this I did. When I was in college, I got myself a New Testament, and I started reading the life of Jesus Christ. Well, I was just fascinated with the person of Jesus, how he went out into the crowds, rubbed shoulders with the everyday people, and spoke about everyday living experiences and applied it to spiritual things. I thought this was great. I couldn't put the New Testament down, and soon after, I did embrace Jesus Christ as the Messiah, started attending church, and I left Judaism. That was in 1971. Now it's 2010. And as I reflect upon my decision and think about what I understood as a child, that Judaism was a religion of death, well, I think I've been vindicated. Look what's happening now in the Jewish state of Israel, where Judaism is supposed to have been at its ultimate expression. Well, the Israelis are murdering innocent Arabs. They've made the Gaza Strip an open-air concentration camp, and they are on a quest for ethnic cleansing. Oh, yes, Judaism is a religion of death, and I was right as a child. As president of the Brother Nathaniel Foundation, where we are working to bring back Christianity as the main religion 
in America, which has been usurped by Judaism, I reflect on my decision of having left the religion of my parents and my forefathers. And after 40 years of having left Judaism, I can only say I made the right decision. <laughs>